Hello, it's Derek. This is In Action Detroit Squash Video. We're at the downtown Y in Detroit, Michigan. This is Ryan and Bryant. Bryant is serving. This was recorded on April 23rd, 2009. We invited players from other local clubs to come down for an evening of squash. They're actually partaking in a small round round turn, which might be small in size, but it had a lot of action. Each player is competing in a double round robin against three other players, which at a minimum means 18 games for the night. Among the four players, they actually completed 41 games in less than three hours. A good workout in anyone's book. Ryan, who's the higher ranked player at 1888, had to give up six points. Oops, sorry. Bryant, who's the higher rated player at 1888, had to give up six points to Ryan. Ryan was able to hold on to his handicap and win their first meeting for the night. This is the second one. In this one, Bryant came out a lot quicker and was able to make up the handicap and won the second match three straight games. Let's look at some of the action. As you see, Bryant has very aggressive tennis serve in his squash game. And surprisingly enough, it can be very effective. Ryan just started a couple of months ago. He really enjoys the game and he's getting better every week. He's a lot better than I was when I first started. A really good rally going on here. Here's Tony and Tom. They're from Fitness Works. In the first round of round robin, Tom was able to win all of his matches. Tom is ranked at 1700 and Tony is ranked at 1800. So Tony had to give a handicap of two points to Tom in each of their match games. Tony was not able to make up the handicap in their first meeting but in their second one, he was able to win in a tie break. I think both players, even at this point, were quite worn down. Thomas playing some good shots from the center court. He's able to win that point. Remember, you always want to control the tee. Use your lob to get your opponent behind you. For my non-squash players, in squash you have to serve from what's referred to as a service box. Near each side wall where Tom is serving from right now, you have to serve it to your opponent. Excellent shot. He plays down the wall, plays down the other wall, digs one out. Now Tony has control of the plays down the wall. Uh-oh, he played the loose ball, and he's punished for it. Good shot by Tom. Here we go. Tom attempts a boast, comes up loose. Tony's able to put it away. As you win a point in squash, you have to then serve from the opposite box. Good shot by Tom playing down the wall. Good drop right in front of his opponent. Yeah, they're getting tired. <laughs> Tom with a high serve. Oh, he digs one out. 
Tony digs it out, uh, but he can't recover. When you have to rush that front wall, you want to make sure you give yourself time to get back in position by hitting a high lob deep in the court if possible or go for a winner right away. Here's Ryan against Tom. Tom had to give Ryan three points in each of their match games. We're spinning the racket to determine who should serve first. Apparently Tom has won the spin, so he's gonna try and make up that three-point deficit right away. Here's one. Even though that was a pretty good return by Ryan. Ryan really needs this point. Oh, he got it. He still has a one-point edge. He's going to try to build on it right now. He had his chance, but he hit it directly to Tom. Control is very important in squash. You have enough control to angle the ball away from your opponent. If you don't know where your opponent is, just hit the ball down the wall. Yeah, Tom did a good down-the-wall shot right then. It was a long night for Ryan. He did manage one match win against Bryant. Here we have Tom versus Bryant. This is their second match game. Bryant is still trying to redeem himself on the night. But when you're the top player in handicap matches, it's not so easy. Brian had to give up three points to Tom. Tom serves. Brian hits pretty good shot. He has to cover up front. Oh, we got to let. You got to be very careful when you're playing squash. If you have a let, try not to take the shot. Just replay it. For those non-squash players, a let is when you believe you may hit your opponent. So you hold up on your shot. Since we're friendly competitors down at the Y, we usually just play a let and take the point over. As we wrap up the night, we have Tom with four wins and two losses.